Welcome back, you guys. My name is Eric Smells, and thank you again for joining me. I kind of wanted to kick off the channel with a uh, product review slash comparison video of uh, two footwear items that are pretty, you know, I've been seeing them a lot more lately, kind of creeping your, um, you know, your feeds and stuff like that. So I'm referring to the Rick Owens Ramones. Um, this is going to be the Dark Shadow version. The uh, Actually, these are the vegans, so there's not going to be any leather toe cap on that guy. And I'm going to be comparing that with something, um, an alternative, something inspired by the Chuck Taylor as well. But if you guys are familiar with the brand, uh, Ore New York, uh, ran by Ray Mia, you know, one of the YouTube goats. He did his own version. Uh, I keep calling it the 1917 Highs. And I'm just going to be comparing the two, showing a little bit of closer detail shots of both. Um, and at the end, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, outfits, you know, a little bit of uh, casual fits for you guys. Full disclosure, I'm not a rickhead, so I apologize if, you know, these are a little bit too casual, but this is typically how I wear both of these shoes and how I typically see them on the streets too, so. Um, so yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoy the footage and we're gonna kick it off with the 1917 Highs. Right here we have the 1917 Highs by Aura New York. Brand that needs no introduction at this point. Ran by um, <clears throat> one of the YouTube goats himself, Ray Mia, if you don't already know. And this is his take on the iconic Chuck Taylor. Incorporates some aspects of the uh, Rick Owens Ramones and the Visvum Skagway, if I'm not mistaken. So let's get right into it. So the very first little detail that just catches my eye just right away is that leather uh, or a embossed tag. Super dope little detail. Uh, the canvas itself is a duck canvas, I believe. Um, the whole upper is made in Korea. Next thing that pops out at me is this contrast stitching all throughout the shoe. Gives the shoe overall, you know, a super dope little pop of color. Um, makes it stand out really from any kind of converse alternative. Um, moving on to the toe cap, you know, leather toe cap. I don't know if the camera can kind of pick it up, but the toe cap and the sole are slightly different um, colors. Toe cap is a little bit more of a white, white, and the sole is a bit of an off white, so. Black contrast stitching on the sole, super dope too. Let's flip it over to the other side. Pretty much same details, contrast stitching all throughout. Got some stainless steel eyelets right there. Moving on to the back, we have the Ore logo embossed on this Italian made rubber. Comfort's not bad, honestly, you know, compared to my Ramones. After a day in my Ramones, you know, they just kill me. And you know, they're like double the price of these, so it's like, what the heck, you know? No shade to my guy Rick, but yeah. So let's move on to the back zip part of it. Our boy YKK does make an appearance here. Um, pretty standard stuff. I was kind of, I don't know if you can try to look in the camera, but um, this is specifically a M8 zipper. I'm trying to catch that in the camera, but it's got the little eight embossed on there. Um, any YKK fans in there in the comments? Can you guys let me know the difference between the zippers? I kind of just thought they were all universal, you know, so. Duck canvas uh, interior as well. And again, made in Korea, so. Then we got the Ore logo inside of the shoe. Inside that cushion. Pretty comfy, like I said overall. I'm really, personally, I'm, I'm digging these shoes, guys. Um, I think enough details really make it stand out from the, uh, you know, the Ramones and the Visvim. So, can't wait to just bust these out for summer. So, for the first outfit, I got the um, Ore 1917s on. For the bottoms, I got some vintage Levi's. These are actually super cool because I got the uh, little personal repairs on them. And for my top, I got a vintage ringer. And to throw it on top, I have a human-made mechanic jacket that I wear. So, super casual outfit, you know, no um, no Rick boy or anything, so. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. That was the, um, once again, the footage for the Ore New York 1917 Highs um, by Ray Mia. So, next thing um, I'm going to do is just compare the Rick Owens Ramones right over here. It's going to be the um, Rick Owens Dark Shadow Vegan Ramones. God, that's such a mouthful. And the big difference between these and the mainline ones is um, there's going to be no leather toe cap on these guys. So 
And I would say in general, the main difference between the main lines and the dark shadows is going to be the dark shadows are a lot, oftentimes a lot um, lighter weight materials such as canvas, uh, whereas your main line ones are going to be a bit higher quality stuff like leather typically. So um, showing you the uh, good stitching on that all rubber sole. Once again, all this is made in Italy, so you don't really have to worry about the quality. They're pretty top notch on that. Um, some people have the mis uh, you know misconception that dark shadow for whatever reason just because it's cheaper means it's like less higher quality and no I can you know these are these are tanks <laughs> take my word for it so I went ahead and um, I grabbed these in a size 40 so uh, my typical sneaker size in Nikes and stuff like that is gonna be an eight or seven and a half so for designer shoes especially with this that has that leather interior I definitely size down to a 40 slash seven so I would highly encourage you guys to try them on if you haven't already Oh, I almost forgot to show you guys the soles of these guys. The um, Got that Dark Shadow logo there. Apologies, these are trashed. And the super famous shark teeth um, found on all Rick Owens' bottom. So, super dope. For my second fit, I got the uh, Vegan Ramones on foot. For my bottoms, I got a pair of uh, vintage Orange Tab Levi's. My tee is a, another vintage Ringer tee. And my outer layer is a vintage varsity jacket. So, you know, again, super casual. Something that I'd be wearing these shoes with every day, pretty much. Welcome back, you guys. I hope you enjoyed that styling and the product shots of those two shoes. Um, overall, you know, I really, I love both. Obviously, I'm not going to, you know, obviously I bought them, so I'm not going to really trash them. But just kind of comparing the two. Um, ultimately... You know, I found myself in a really weird spot where I, you know, I dropped a pretty, uh, you know, dropped a little bit of money on this guy, and I just don't wear them as much, you know? I'm always baiting them when I'm out, and this is the type of shit you need to thrash. Like, this is gonna look so hard when it's just worn, you know, if you're just fucking moshing all the time. If you're actually taking it out, uh, they're gonna look fucking sick, you know? But I just, I don't really wear them like that, you know, that often, so that's why I really gravitate towards the uh, 1917s. It's just like, a lot quicker um, they were a lot cheaper you know I think they retailed at two hundred dollars versus the Ramones who you know they retail anywhere from like six to seven hundred super outrageous you know triple the price um, but you know super similar vibes you know you can you can obviously achieve a different kind of outfits with each of them so um, and I just find myself wearing these a lot more you guys and I think in the summer spring summer I'm gonna get a lot of use out of these guys so I'm super happy for them obviously um, and they're really comfy too I, you know I don't know it's kind of up in the air I would say obviously this one um, the Ramones is just really high quality um, in the craftsmanship in the canvas you can tell you're gonna beat this up for a while and they're gonna be you know they're gonna stay up so um, the only kind of downside I don't like about these uh, the Ramones is just the comfort like you know I don't know it's it might be a thing with designer shoes but they fucking hurt your feet, guys. Like, you can't be... They're almost, they're like flexing, you know? You're just walking around. You're kind of showing them off. You're not really out, you know, out for the night, you know, getting thrashed in them. Because after a while, these johns are fucking heavy. These are just, like, pretty uncomfortable after a while. They're good for a, a, a bit, you know? They get the job done, but there's no technology in them. It's just straight rubber sole. Um, and at, well, at the very least, the, uh, you know, the 1917s are going to have a little bit more cushion in them. They, um super comfortable as when I've kind of been out on the town with them so I don't know guys for like a third of the price it's got similar vibes um, I wouldn't say you know they're Chuck inspired both of them so really can't go wrong with either of those looks so yeah guys thanks to you again for uh, joining me in this video um, if you have any uh, recommendations or shit that I fucked up on or I should do in the future just let me know in the comments and um, I'll include links to all of that. I mean, you know where to, you, obviously, you know where to get um, the fucking Rick Owens. But uh, yeah, guys. So uh, until next time, thank you again for joining me in this video. And I'll be uh, looking for you guys next time. Peace. Peace. What am I supposed to say after these? Like, peace. <laughs> peace. Tran.
position. Yo guys, I totally forgot to mention until I was like editing this, but um, those Ramones are gonna be up for sale, so I'm gonna link my Grail to, um, in the description. You know, offers open, so you know, shoot away. Preferably, they're gonna be U.S. shipped. Um, I apologize to all my international homies, but it's just you know how I do things. So, alrighty guys, if you got any questions or anything, just let me know there. Peace.